Hello, welcome to my channel. So these are all the things that we're gonna need. So starting with ribbons, we're gonna need satin and paper ribbon. Next up is glue. You can use any heating agent, which could be a lighter or a candle. Next is scissor. Please make sure to use a sharp one. So let's get started. The first one and the easiest is the classic bow. Here we're gonna take one inch ribbon. You can take any size and length. So we're gonna start with snipping the edges in V shape and then seal it with some heat to prevent from fraying. You can also use glue or any used clear nail paint. Once the edges are sealed, take the ribbon from the between, fold it in half as shown. Then you bring the folded part through the loop and tighten the knot. Do a little adjustment until you feel good about it. Now, this is optional but you can take half an inch ribbon. I'm gonna go over it as so and tie a double knot. Now move the tail down a little bit. With this, you are done. The second technique is the four petal bow. Here we're gonna take a ribbon of any desired length, then wrap it around your fingers twice. Hold them together. So after a little adjustment, we are going to start from the middle and gather it, like kind of fold it over, like this. And again, take half an inch ribbon and double knot to secure it in place. After all the adjustment, we are going to snip off the edges in the V-shape as shown in the part 1. And with this, we have a little 4 petal bow. Moving on to the Dior bow. Start with taking a ribbon. Take the length as per your requirement and then cut it off. The same way we are gonna cut 3 more ribbon by keeping the second smaller than the first one. Once you're done, stick the edge of the ribbon with the glue in a way that it forms a circular band. Now do this for all the four of them.
Next, stick it with glue at the very center of the bands. Now we are gonna place it one on top of the other. With this, the deer bow is ready. This is my the favorite bow. So the technique is almost the same as the deer bow. Here we gonna need 4 of these band in the same length. Again 4 of the white band in the same length but shorter than the pink one. Cut one more shorter band like this pink. This will be the shortest. So stick the edge like we did previously for all the ribbons. Glue the centers together so that it forms a figure 8. This will be for all of them except the shortest. Once done, take the first four and start gluing them one on top of the other as shown. So if you are liking the content, do hit the subscribe button. Thank you. Continue the same for the white one as well. Just like cherry on top, take the last pink band and glue it on top. And voila, it's done. The layered bow. Here, we're gonna need three ribbon of different or same color, your choice. The base being longer and thicker, whereas the first being shorter and slimmer. It's okay if you don't have slimmer ribbon. You can cut it just like this. Now glue all three of them at the center. And then cut all the edges in V shape. After a little adjustment, take a smaller band, wrap it neatly at the center to form a bow.
The layered bow is ready. Next up is the package bow. This is very easy. All you need is a ribbon. Cut it once you have your desired length. Glue the ends and stick it together to form a circular band. And then the center to form a figure 8. Now take a smaller band to wrap it around the bow just as shown. Simple yet cute, the package bow is ready. Another simple style is bi-colored bow. Take two bands of ribbon. Here one has to be broader in width than the other. Take the slimmer ribbon and glue it at one side. Now just stick them together. It should look like a layered bow. But in this, you gotta stick the ends and then the center, just like package bow. Secure it with another band. And the bi-colored bow is ready. The pom pom bow. Just like the name, the bow too is very adorable. I'll suggest to unroll the ribbon first as it makes the process very easier. Basically, create a circle. Minimum, you can spin it 8 times. Maximum, you can go to whatever limit you're comfortable with. Now cut the ribbon when it overlaps the tail. Hold it together at the center. Cut a V shape into the ribbon. Make sure to not cut all the way through. Now take another half an inch ribbon and tie them up. After all the adjustment, make notches and V-shape cut to the tail. Now we are going to take the inside of the loop and take it down and twist it. Now pull it out the other side, push it and twist it. Just like this, we are gonna keep repeating the process.
combo ready and the last one is the mum's bow as i don't have a half an inch ribbon i'm gonna cut the ribbon from the between and keep it aside as we are gonna need it later i'll suggest to unroll the ribbon as it will be easier for the later use basically you could create a circle and the circumference of the circle will be size of the pom pom or mum's paw notches and not is the same as you can see Now that you have reached this stage, you are going to make two cuts at this petal right here. Repeat the same thing at the other side as well. Due to the cut, this can get a little trickier, but don't lose hope and with patience complete the entire process of pulling and twisting. It always is easier to pull it from the inside of the loop.
And with this, we have completed all the nine techniques of bow making. Thank you for watching.